Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osayuwame Stali, and today I'm joined by my amazing co-anchors. And today we have a guest co-anchor in the house, so let me do the honors first, you see. <laughs> we have Inkechi Jennifer Nicola. <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for joining for us. And she's so tall. Absolutely. She, like, if you came to meet me, that, Ooh, who did I offend? Who did I offend? Yeah? I'm not going to be the only short person in this team. I said, we, we can't have too many, like, two of you is a crowd in this team. Like, you are absolutely petite. And we, we are okay. We, Thank you. Thank we you. We love all her 6 2 pack. Oh, five yeah. Two. Thank you. Thank you are you. 5 2. She's 6 2. I'm 6 2. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for you having been? me. I've been good. I've so, been fine. So what's, what's been happening? Um, today you went for football training. Yeah, I had now, flag wow. football training today. What's, um, it, what's it about? It's just like American football, but it's a watered-down American football. So basically, it's not as um, intense or rough as the normal American football. So basically, we use um, flags around our waist. So instead of pushing your opponents, all you basically have to do is pull, pull the flag. Oh. Mm. Just pull the flag. Like and that's because um, we have both male and female on the team. So everyone has to be very careful. Careful. Wow. Has to be wow. very, very careful. Wow. Yeah. wow. So you actually love sports, right? I do. I love sports. I've tried several sports in my lifetime. Oh, wow. And I felt like, this one, mm -mm, you must be good at it. <laughs> because I feel you like I got tired of people asking me, do you play basketball? And I'm like, and no. I and I'm like, so what do you do? Mm. Like, you cannot waste the height. So now I'm, I can tell people, I play flag football. <laughs> oh, so you do it, like, do you guys go for tournaments and all of that? Um, we, have, we have a league. So with different teams, we just it's just a bunch of people coming together to play a sport that they all love. Wow. So there is nothing to read, there is no prize or anything. Wow. It's just but if we, we love want the sport, to watch you. Yeah, you can come watch. Oh, that's lovely. So once the league starts or once the season once the season starts rather, then people can come. Do you have short watch. people in your team? Yeah, they are short people. How short are they? Your height short. <laughs> But, but how long is the tournament for? Like a week? Um, okay, no, for a season, we'll be starting our season very soon. Um, I think we will be starting next month and it should last till January or February next wow, year. That's wow, that's a long one. So it's, yeah, a, long it's one. a long one. It's a wow. really long one. Wow. So you have to keep practicing and training. Uh, wait, so, so at bed. the end of the day, no trophy? I mean, trophy. No, there's a trophy. There's, there's a, a trophy, trophy but definitely. But what about there's a no trophy. cash prize? No cash prize. Oh, uh, but then there's a trophy. But you, but you, have, you guys would have to get sponsors in the long yeah, run. No, we, we have sponsors. Awesome. Different teams have sponsors. It's either you have um, a sponsor, probably a jersey team, um, a jersey business, or uh, maybe a restaurant that is sponsoring your team, probably okay. when you want to have hangouts or something. So it depends. Different teams with their different sponsors. Lovely. I would love so to how many teams do you usually have in your league? Um, sometimes 10, sometimes 8, depending. Some people, some teams might quit. Probably they don't want to go on anymore, and then their players will have to join other teams. Do you wow. have people coming in from outside Lagos? No, uh, no, not for no, now. not for now. Not Lagos for now. is the posh place. Lagos Why are you <laughs> trying to come there? Yes. <laughs> but I think there is a flag football. Oh, there is a flag football um, there is league in Abuja. Yeah. 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 There is a flag football and, league in Abuja. And they decide to come together. If it is not Lagos, it cannot be. Like cannot it. be like Lagos, right? <laughs> Even if they've told us to go home, yes, yes, they allow me. They said she should pack out. Of <laughs> I will pack out. <laughs> <laughs> you see how you? I love your green. Very Thank beautiful. You. You're I'm still, still you're I'm repping. Still, yeah, I want I'm a touch of green as well. I'm still I know basking this. in the Fourier of uh, Nigeria independence. 60, yeah. yes. And uh, it's a bit unfair because I'm not from Nigeria. Oh, and I'm not it has been a jolly ride so far. I just hope that. Indeed, the leaders of this country will put a smile on our faces. Yeah, hopefully. That was the conversation we had hopefully. yesterday. Yes. It was quite an interesting Good. conversation. You, you know, I was still watching on YouTube on my way back. I, I went to Oshun State to drop my children. Today. I enjoyed every bit of it. Yeah, yesterday. a woman was, I think she lives abroad. She, she On YouTube, she was commenting and saying that, oh, I wish, you know, they would just fix the light. If they fix some things, I can just come back to my country and say, ah. I think we all want the basic mm. amenities in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. If we're sure that, okay, we, whatever tax we're paying is being utilized to actually give us infrastructures and not borrow Absolutely. China loans, yeah. then we'll be satisfied. Well, Nobody the China loans are actually meant to build infrastructures. So That's what I'm saying. We won't have job. to mm. yeah. borrow if we're being... If you listen if to if the Honorable Minister for... 
works and works has and has you has know that borrowing is important. Mm. Right, so today that's another focus. Because that's another <laughs> that's another topic for today. We're, <laughs> have, we're having a conversation around our health, and here's what we yes. found as today's quote is mm. um, a proverb: "An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure." It's as simple and short and very apt for the conversation. I mean, once you know little steps to take i mean to prevent something is worth more than whatever it is that you want to start looking for as measures to cure any form of disease i don't know how um how we take preventive medicine or preventive health how yeah. seriously we take it but i think covid19 opened our eyes yeah it did i think it opened our eyes it did yeah, I think it did. So today we're focusing on um, preventive health measures, and we have Dr. Neso Chi because, as you as you all know, viruses are not visible to the human eye. However, the impact, you know, as we've said, um, of viruses we've seen in the COVID nineteen virus, I mean, the way it shut down the entire world can be devastating. <laughs> we've seen it that it it has you have to pay extra attention to those kind of things. So, so today we want to learn about simple steps that we can adopt to as, as a lifestyle to live a healthy life. And Dr. Nesuchi, as I said earlier, she's here to discuss this. But first, let's take a break for what's in the news.